What is up, YouTube Chaz here, and today I'm here with Colin. We're here at the Viki Locals, and you went first place with which deck? Labyrinth, but Labyrinth. spicy version of Labyrinth. It's spicy, okay, let's I go. I think it's let's the best out. version you can play right now. Okay, let's go. So we play the Rhoda, why not play three? It's a Rhoda. Then for the big ones, we play a two lady, one lovely, a brick, but it's okay, I play furniture. Then we play big furniture engine. Free Stovey, Free Chandra Lear. And um, this is gonna be paired with something else that I will show later. I'll play, I play one Ku Clock. And then the new best card, or my, one of my new favorites, Arias the Lemon uh, Butler. This card's insane. Um, this card's insane, combined with some, some stuff I will show you later. Um, it's really good because it always comes back and it lets you go Daruma turn one or whatever you want to do turn one or it's just special stuff out. And it also helps you always op go for a lovely combo turn one. Yes. Uh, then we play three of uh, Prosperity. I don't play extra because I need to make the extra leg um, super specific. That's why I didn't play extra, otherwise I would play extra. Then we play three big welcome and two welcome. Uh, I don't think you need more. And uh, now for my favorite card of the deck. I love with this card, Daruma Karma Cannon. Oh, yeah, your favorite. Insane with Butler, because you can just go Butler, um, set Daruma, go Daruma turn zero, and pass the turn. I did that today against uh, Sprite. Did that, pass turn, because he normal summoned, I booked, he lost. And then we play two Trap Shit, two IDP, and two Waybridge. Oh. Let me explain Waybridge. And this card says if your opponent controls two more monsters than you do, they need to send all cards they control, uh, all monsters they control to your grave until they control one. So the idea with this deck is you either have, um, you either have, uh, you either set this, this, or this turn one, and you just nuke their board. This is especially potent against tier lament because as soon as they, before they make toad or if they can make toad, you just set this. And they send, so all the tier mains don't trigger, so you pretty much nuke the bird turn one. <laughs> this is IDP against Unchained, and this is Trap Trick, because I want to access the whole deck. Also, you can set Daruma with that Waybridge uh, IDP. Yep. And then um, we play the one offs, one over root, one D barrier. I think it's way too good to not play. Um, this is the most generic one I play. This is specific because um, tier is really good right now and pearly. And uh, my second favorite part of the deck. Back check. Ah, back check, let's go. Back check combined with the shuffler. So the idea of the deck is pretty much, um, you can go, if you have this with uh, furniture, you discard both in their turn, like mostly in the end phase or while they're playing, then you set a, uh, you set a big wall come, and then you trigger back check, stack three, and if you hit like um, Trap Tricks, Daruma, Waybridge, IDP, whatever, you can just banish it and give that turn zero. Nice. And also you always know what you draw. Because you stack it so you can go you can stack a trap in their turn and you can stack the draw. Nice. This card was the most this was the best card I played today. And another crazy thing with this card is it's level one. So what you can do with the deck is link one into Anima, steal a monster, get a second body, make SP, finish something. And the best fiend in the deck as well <laughs> goes uh, Typhoon, bounce one, and then attack over. So this card alone with any other monster outs the whole board. <laughs> and these are just the most, and it's also insane when you play against Helements because they start milling you. Mm. So if they mill shufflers, you can shuffle back. And also if you have back check, back check, it doesn't care where it's coming from. So you can stack and then uh, stack another trap. Yeah, yeah. And then for the extra deck, like I showed Spicy. before, these three. Then we play one Lingo Rebo, because I don't want to uh, lose to Ibli for no reason, if I have space. One Lingo Rebo, because um, if I start with only back check, I don't want to make Anima, because Anima is for uh, go second, not go first. And this card can always revive itself, so um, I play that. Then uh, we play one Muckcracker. Um, it's the one of the best fiends you can play because you can revive anything. You can revive um, Chaos Angel because Chaos Angel triggers on special summon and on synchro summon. And for another link too, I play Dark. It's great in the mirror match. It's great to trigger um, SP because you can Dark, summon something, make SP, banish something, um, so overlay Dark, add Typhoon and banish, uh, bounce again. 
Then we play one chaos angel. Um, synchro ten is now easy, more uh, easy than before because you can go Ariana plus uh, Butler because you go normal summon. Uh, they re respond to anything. You just go uh, summon this, make chaos angel, link away, make mockcracker, effect mockcracker, arrive again. You have two banishes. Nice. And then uh, we have, uh, I play Super Poly in the side, <laughs> wow. so this is everything I play right here. Uh, Garuda, the most be the best one, uh, Starving Venom, because it's specifically for Fiends. Then we play Dragostopelia against the Fusion decks, uh, Mod Dragon of the Swamp, because it's the second most generic one. Then we play um, uh, the new one, <laughs> it's against uh, Brenda Chimera, because you can Super Poly the board. Mm, and fair. you can mill something, so you can mill backcheck, trigger backcheck, stack. Yeah. Um, one Cordius, I got convinced by Dinka Bui to play this, because apparently you can super poly away a Tillemans board with that. It's one Synchro Monster, one Xyz and one Link. <laughs> so you can yeah. go um, Baron plus Toad plus um, Cross Sheep. And this one is also insane. Uh, it's against uh, great against Monadium and against the new version of uh, Rescue Ace, because they always end Baron Savage, and yeah. this takes one Dragon Synchro Monster and one Warrior. Yes, sir. And then for the side deck, I played uh, two Bistrals. I don't think you need more, because you already have Shufflers in main, and you can stack Darumas. Yeah. The, the amount of Darumas I gave turn zero today uh, was way too high. Then we played two traps. Um, these are the most generic ones. This is for spells. This is for specific matchups, like Pearly or um, like Dark War, for example. Mm -hmm. Then uh, for going second, I play two sphere modes okay, yeah. and three super poly. Uh, like I said, this for the extra deck, this is just against some boards like um, Tierlement, you can side these in. Mm. Then against Pearly, I play D Crow, because yeah. I don't want to lose to Pearly. Because um, normally you don't lose to Pearly, but if you draw a hand of just five traps, you can't chain block, so they always get to Nar. Mm. Otherwise, you can always chain block. And for going first, I play uh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Solid, yeah. Nice. It's also good against Unchained. Yes. Thank you so much for the deck profile. Congrats. Thank you. Do you want to do any shout outs? A shout out to Kabui and Johannes, ba uh, Johannes Bauer for making the deck with me and helping me. A shout out to Chess for always having me. Shout out to Yoisha Karchuk. And uh, shout out to my friends and family. Nice. Thank you so much, Colin. Have a nice day and see you around. Take care.